in a really distracted world and quite honestly, social media has stolen our attention span. The average teenager spends over three hours a day on social media and that might have a correlation to why our attention span is only 10 to 20 minutes these days. Oh yeah, and my name's Caleb Shaw and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This whole topic's really intriguing for me because obviously I'm a teenager and I've always been really aware of how much time I spend in front of a screen or like the effects of social media on my life personally. But uh, I got this specific idea because uh, last week I was gonna go pick up my friend and I was driving on the way to his house and the thought just popped into my head. I'm like, you know, I feel like the attention spans of the average teenager are just like really going down um, because of social media and like specifically TikTok because like all the videos are like 15 seconds to a minute long which is really, really short. Anyway, I picked up my friend and we started talking about this too and it was like, you know, the effects of this have to be negative because we're constantly getting fed this really short form stream of content. I don't know if you've really, if you've used TikTok, you know that like if you're scrolling through your feed and something doesn't interest you in the first like two seconds, you just scroll past it. And that mindset kind of feeds into your normal day-to-day -day life if you're, you know, doing school, working on a project, hanging out with your friends. Like conversations become a lot less engaging because you're used to this constant, constant stimulus. So yeah, after that conversation, I was really driven to like do more research and understand uh, the effects of social media on my life personally and on the average teenager and honestly anybody. Our attention has just been separated all over all these places and that's an issue. Social media is so distracting to the point where we just constantly get sucked in. See, this all started back in 2004 when, you know, Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook. And this created a way for friends and family to all just constantly be connected. Fast forward a couple years and now we've got Facebook along with Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. We had Vine. And then there's YouTube, which I don't really consider a social media. More recently, TikTok along with a whole bunch of other new apps. Constant stimulation just become standard. We've become almost reliant on content. Then we need more more stimulus to be entertained and uh, therefore we become pretty dependent on social media rather than really doing the things that we love. As Steve Jobs once said, it's really clear that the most precious resource we have is time. So you know, why use that time aimlessly scrolling through social media? Another huge issue I see is how everybody on social media only presents uh, their perfect life. So it's all these highlights, nothing really honest. The weird thing is everyone's aware that we're all putting out just the good part. You know, quite frankly, it'd be weird if we put out like really sad stuff, but it's important to just be honest. I urge myself to do that, even though, you know, I'm guilty of not doing that. It's just a problem when we're all putting out only the positive parts of our lives. You know, we make our lives look way better than they are and can make other people fall into this comparison trap. And I find myself being caught up in that. Why isn't my life as good as theirs? How come I'm not getting as many followers or likes as them? It's so important to not get trapped in your head about all this stuff. You can get to a really low point by just focusing on all the good that other people are experiencing and um, not acknowledging the good in your life. Numbers, followers, likes, they don't make you who you are. So you gotta remind yourself that and I gotta remind myself. Basically, all I'm trying to say is, you know, grab all the electronics in your house and throw them in a dumpster and light the dumpster on fire. Kidding, but there's a lot of truth to just being aware of how you're, uh, you know, like taking in all this information and all this media and like looking at your friends' lives. Most of that's fake, to be real. There's this writer, David Amerlin, who has this quote that basically says, social media is addictive because it gives us something the real world lacks immediacy, direction, and a sense of individuality. And there's just a lot of truth in that quote because, you know, we do go on social media to get that constant gratification, that constant, you know, sense of meaning, like whether that's through likes, followers, just enjoying content that you like. Social media in some cases has become invasive, invasive to our relationships and has taken away that humanity um, in this virtual space and made us feel somewhat disconnected, which is the exact opposite 
of, uh, you know, why social media was created. <laughs> I guess by now I've really depicted uh, social media as like really dark, twisted, horrible place, but you know, in reality, there's a lot of good that comes out of it. And it's important to note that, because like here on YouTube, like I said, it's not really a social media per se, but uh, you know, it's given me an outlet. It can also give people a way to support others emotionally or feel supported emotionally when they're going through a really hard time. It can also bring people to groups of other people that are interested in similar things and can really create a network of support and creativity and really whatever you can imagine. But you know, I for myself have to be aware that too much is too much. Also, the weather just fully took a U-turn. Like it was fully overcast when I started filming this. Um, and now it's just full blast sunshine. Blue skies. We're in October, but you know, this is classic working weather. <laughs> probably saw how I went up the fence but came down the ladder. It's a funny story, I was like, I got up there and I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't think about this. And I'm like looking around, I'm like, am I gonna have to jump off my roof? And then I was like, oh wait, I got my tree house over there. So I jump into the tree and then jump off the tree and then get down. But yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> So yeah, all that being said, here are some of my ideas to make sure you're not getting trapped in social media. First off, us humans, you know, we're creatures of balance and I think we should carry that balance into our media consumption as well. So the main point I've been challenging myself with and I think you should challenge yourself with too is just holding myself accountable to how much I'm using social media as well as my phone. And um, some ways to do that are just to set timers and set limits to your apps. If you have an iPhone, you have like the screen time feature. And currently I have an hour limit on Snapchat because I use Snapchat a lot. It's made me a lot more aware of how much time I've been spending. The step to go beyond that would be to just delete some apps, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I'll just delete Instagram for a month or a week just to, you know, make myself more aware of how much time I'm really spending. In the past couple days, I was realizing like I am using my phone a lot during school, so I was like, you know, I'll just put it away. And you know, it's been really nice during school not having my phone because that way I'm a lot more focused. For me, if I'm writing a video or working on uh, editing a video, it's good for me to put away my phone so I'm not thinking about that outside. Uh, and what's really important through all of these is just to be intentional about how you're using your time. Get on the computer for a specific task, get on your phone, get on social media for a specific task. Like say, you're just trying to post something. Go on, post, get off. Remove those roadblocks, remind yourself, you know, you can't be creative, you can't be productive, and just go for it, right? My favorite out of all of these is just making sure you have a clear mindset. So what I'll do when I'm about to um, dive into a project, I'll walk around outside or just clear my head. Maybe that's listening to music and dancing. Maybe that's going on a run. Maybe that's skating. So yeah, um, it's been a long time since I have made a YouTube video and it's my goal to start producing videos more often and hopefully weekly. Hoping that this video was could enrich your life in some way and actually like my thoughts actually mean something to you guys. So yeah, thanks for watching this and you know, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you know, I'll see you in the next one.